Think this storm's I'll gonna hit full force? This point. Bonnie says it will. Bonnie says. And what about Anna? She's still out there. The blessing belongs with us. She knows that. Don't worry. Storm's part of the prophecy. What I believe, brother, is that the arrival of the blessing is at hand. All for the blessing. All for the blessing. He didn't go far. <laughs>
door secured by some type of strange locking mechanism. Gotta find the two pieces that'll get this open. As slow as a summer night's rain. <laughs> Rings of roses, flowers that bloom. Hear the song of the blackbird as he calls for your doom. The stick of the ick is the blood in your veins Flowing out on the floor as he pecks your remains Beg for peace, but there's none to claim How are things in here, Sylvie? Beautiful Don't let us interrupt We're just here to secure things Do what you gotta do, boys Hey, you just said, beauty We are blessed by you, Père Sanglard. In the darkness, we are free.
but death with your mystic lane. Trying to hide from me, baby? <laughs> Clay. You shouldn't be here. You can't stop the ensemble on day. I don't like you. The prophecy will be fulfilled. You 
will rot for this! Nothing here. The Asanglante will survive long past either of us. And is dead. Slashed her own throat after she realized what you've done to her. She was chosen. She was forced. By you. It was Langan's idea to lay Anna to rest with his family. Grief. It can overwhelm you if you let it. It can suffocate you and reduce you down to nothing. So the key is to uh, Look for the light inside those around us to grab hold of it. Even the slightest flicker can give us hope, a bit of peace. I think in Anna, Lincoln found that slight flicker. Problem was, he didn't understand the impact she had on him until she was gone. Diana's death was certainly tragic, but I know in death she found that peace that escaped her in life. Lincoln, on the other hand, uh, I think what happened with Anna only reaffirmed what he already believed. Sometimes, living can be worse than dying. Lincoln knew that better than anyone. Got another call from your Aunt Lily. Says she's coming back in on a bus. She'd appreciate her nephew picking her up. Be good to see her again. Thanks for letting me know, Father. You good, Aunt Lil? 
better seeing you again. But I'm about ready to get off my feet. Where's your car? Take me to Sammy's. You sure? I'm sure. Father James told me about your friend, Anne. Anna. She, uh, passed away. Where'd you end up going? Hmm. Patch of land where Sammy and me grew up. Y'all lived on a farm. Sharecroppers, right? Till our daddy got hurt, couldn't work no more. Sammy bought the land a few years back. Lincoln, never underestimate the value of a black man owning what's his. Father James asked me to stay away. After he told me you were going after the men who did it. Going at Marcano. Working on it. What do they do to this place? Best to go in through the garage. Where are you going? Didn't leave much to work with. But the structure's more or less intact. Gonna have to gut the interior. You wanna reopen Sammy's? I want you to do it. I'll just help you get the place back into shape. Maybe some improvements here and there, too. What do I know about running a bar, Ann Lil? It's important enough for you to figure it out. People in the holler need to see black folks owning their own, just like Sammy did. Look, if you want, just get me the cash I need to start repairs. It's in rough shape, but I've handled worse. Should have seen Pearlers in the early days. Just let me know when you want to kick off the renovations around here. Let's get started. Damn. This is wild. How did you... Spent a lot of years helping Sammy make this place what it was. Just came natural putting it back together. Might be good to fix up the back. Get a pool table in there like Sammy always wanted. We could do a lot here. Plenty of options for what to do next. Money is the only limit. You're really putting your mark on this place, Lincoln.
Be careful. 